Spider-Man, into the Spider-Verse characters recreate Avengers Shawarma scene the characters recreate iconic Shawarma scene in brand new fan art. Earth's mightiest heroes in the MCU are the gold standard in regard to superhero teams, but with Sony Pictures Entertainment's latest animated film giving fans a brand new gang to love, the Avengers may finally have solid competition. Dubbed to be one of the best superhero films ever, Spider-Man, Into the Spider-Verse introduced a slew of other iterations of Spider, effectively giving fans a team of Spider-People. While the film's narrative is centered around Miles Morales, Shay McMoore, version of the web-slinging hero. Comparisons with other big-screen superhero crews are inevitable. This latest fan creation imagines Miles, Spider-Gwen, Haley Steinfeld, Spider-Ham, John Mulaney, Spider-Noir, Nicolas Cage, Peter Parker, Jake Johnson, and Peony Parker, Kimiko Glenn as the Avengers in what is arguably the MCU's most memorable post credit scene. Twitter user at Aliruko created an illustration visualizing what the Spider-Man, Into the Spider-Verse crew would look like in Shawarma scene. The art worked out well with both teams having six members, although it's safe to assume that there's no narrative implication whatsoever with regard to how the artist positioned the spider people around the table in connection to how the Avengers were seated originally. The creator also included some fan easter eggs in the background with Venom manning the meat section, while Eddie Brock sits on the counter. A version of the popular 1967 Spider-Man cartoon pointing meme also makes an appearance. In hindsight, the Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse crew can function as Sony's budding animated franchise's version of the Avengers. Despite the fact that they're essentially all the same hero, just in different realities, they have very different personalities and skill sets similar to the composition of Earth's mightiest heroes. The team's arcs in their respective movies are similar as they start clashing with each other, with their common goal eventually bringing them together. In the end, they part ways knowing that they have allies if they ever need them. Despite the similarities, Sony doesn't seem to have any intentions of following the precedent that Marvel Studios has set in terms of building a franchise that alternates between standalone films and ensemble films. In fact, defies the established formula altogether by starting with an ensemble movie, proving that one can work without the need to introduce every key player in their own film before bringing them all together. While spin-offs are being discussed, the follow-up appears as though it will feature an entirely different gang of spider people, aside from the confirmed returnees in Miles and Gwen Stacy. However, there might be a way to bring both franchises together. With Tom Holland's Spider-Man in the MCU, Perhaps Sony and Marvel Studios can create a concept allowing him to pop up in Miles' future adventures. Source, at Aliruko.